Without further ado, let's get into it. Can I beat Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist with using the summoning requirements. Very specific. Right, to show off, we've got two decks for our run-through of Yu-Gi-Oh! We have our Warrior build and our Umi build. Most of the monsters will be water and most of the monsters will be type warriors. Uh, the exception being, of course, Tricky, because Tricky is just needed for a lot of decks. In both decks, he's needed massively. Uh, we were going to go for a Gravekeeper deck, but unfortunately, during my attempts to try and pull cards, I was unsuccessful at actually getting cards. I kept it around 150 for all of them, except for Grandpa Moto. This was mainly trying to get a Pot of Greed. Um, then I found out you can get it in the campaign, so that's even better. So we've kept it relatively simple, and we've got all the cards we have. And we'll be going through each of the campaigns. So as you can see here, none of the others have been completed. I can even I can even try and show you as well. I oops, wrong one. I don't actually own any of the other packs, so I can't buy any more. Uh, as stated, we're going to go through just Yu-Gi-Oh, and there will be no tribute summoning or no link summoning. There will be technically no fusion summoning either, because that's being left for GX, and GX will be no fusion summoning. But I'm allowed to tribute and ritual. The reason why it was only kept at uh, tribute summoning and ritual why not one and not the other even though ritual is the main gimmick of Yu-Gi-Oh it was very very poor and not actually very good but fusion was massive during the GX era so Yu-Gi-Oh can I beat Yu-Gi-Oh the original with only without tribute ritual or fusioning and regrettably I've got to go through them all let's do this and as stated I will get to use my user deck so here we'll try warrior and it is. Here we go. Can I beat Yu-Gi-Oh without tribute summoning or ritual summoning? Now, ritual summoning won't be the worst because I actually will... I do get some deck space from it. I already lost the die rolls. So this is great. Or oh, rock, paper, scissors. All right. Let's go. Now, the first five of these will be me versus, or the well, AI, obviously. And it will just be how the story is supposed to. I won't be swapping it around for any particular reason. Now, a lot of these are warriors, so, yeah. All except for the tricky, of course. Right. This is actually not a bad start. Um, gonna normal summon Dark Blade. Gonna equip him with a Lightning Blade. For the majority of this run, it's going to be mainly equip cards, and can I destroy the opponent's monster? Henceforth, the Dark Hole, the Raigeki, there, there isn't a specifically a ban list, I'm not following a ban list. And again, I have to apologize, I thought the Yu-Gi-Oh packs that you were given from the era were the actual era. Because when I opened a pack and saw a Link monster, I got very confused and went, I don't remember this being from this era. So, yeah. All right, we're already on 3k, so this is a pretty big, big stick. Uh, let's hope it's something small. It is! Sweet, that's pretty nice. So, I apologize in advance if there's actually any monsters that are not from this era. But it was what was in the pack. And I did try and search through, but there were a lot of cards I had to search for. So, in the end, I, I have a good knowledge on a few of them. Personally, I think Tricky actually... I think Tricky was from this era, but I don't know about all the am am bleh. Amazonians or Amazon, whatever it's called. All right, can we get lucky here? Um, well, let's normal summon. So we get the eighteen hundred. Might actually be able to try and win here. So if I swim with Amaz, uh oh, ah, oh. I don't get the win. That's unfortunate. Amazoness, Amazoness. There you go. There you go. That makes my life a lot easier to read. Yes. Oh no! Fiend of the Mecha Cyber and an Axe Raider. As luck would have it, I, I actually looked at the, the Joey's deck. He has very little spelling trap cards on the first turn. Uh, it's very, very fortunate I managed to draw a Dark Hole turn one. And let's just uh, win the duel, shall we? So... Duel 1, Joey down, and we lost 500 life points. I also voted against having Exodia, because I don't want to have to Exodia every single duel. No, I don't want to try it out, sorry. Ah, uh, I've just ruined it. Sweet. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh. One duel down. 
Let's keep going, shall we? Just going to skip everything and try and progress through as quickly as we can. As stated, I will be streaming the rest of this, but... See, that would have been a nice water monster to have. The re and again, I had everything I needed for my warrior deck. The problem was, when I wanted to build another deck, I was bu building an Umi base deck, because I do like Umi. I couldn't get any cards, so I had to spam Jewel against Mako over and over again just so I could get enough cards. Uh, we will try and talk about this as we go along, of course. Alright, so Seto will be trying to bring out Blue Eyes. I have I tried to set that to Professional, but it's very annoying. Uh, we will go Swords of Revealing Light. Ooh, Wall of Illusion. That's an annoying card to try and beat over. Um, I'm going to have to set a card for now. I think I'm going to have to set my uh, Mystical Space and we'll pass. My biggest, my biggest worry in this playthrough is going to be the Exodia deck. Because in my, in my travel so far, I have not yet managed to find... That's, yeah, this is getting annoying now. I'm just going to use it. I'll pop one of the two. Let's try that one. Oh, it, no, it was one he could use. That's a shame. Uh, it, was, it was worth an attempt to try and pop something. Yeah, the Exodia deck might be a problem. Oh, this is uh, this is actually not looking too good. I have not, I've not actually got anything good yet. Uh, or a monster with a high enough attack. I could go Little Wingard with a lightning a sword, but I'm pretty certain, yes, if this card is attacked by a monster after damage calculation, return it to the hand. Um, that, okay, I am actually not seeing any high attack point monsters, which is a problem. Uh, once per turn I can change the battle position of this card. Also not very helpful. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still having... A, wow, this is not going well. I've only just started this thing. And I have not seen anything. Ancient Rules is going to bring out... Oh, no. I haven't seen Ancient Rules either, to be fair. So that's a 2k monster. Marauding Captain. Why am I not seeing anything? This is, this is insane. Um... Suppose I can try and bait out an attack and hopefully a run into a mirror force. I will swing into the face down and hopefully it's something small. It's not. Uh, of course it's not. Of course it wasn't. <laughs> of course it wasn't something small. Why would it be? Uh, oh, I wasn't paying attention. I should have used this effect. Dispel. Well, that's not going to help. That's going to be a mirror force. Wow, he actually, he actually played into it. I'm surprised, really. Surprised he actually played into that. You even knew what it was. This is why the AI in this game is questionable at best. He actually knew what it was and he still decided to swing into it. Crush card virus. Oh no. Oh wow, wait. Oh wait, is it is it 1500 or is it 1000? Oh, it's 1000. I thought it was 1500. And is it is it out of your 1000 on attack? I know, 1,500. I was right. Okay. But is it draw into them? Was there something about you draw into it? Don't, I actually don't remember. Uh, we'll, we'll go we'll go Graceful Charity, just, just in case. Oh, wow. Metal Reflect Slime is pretty mediocre. Marauding Captain will be useful now, so we'll, we'll get... To be fair... Yeah, okay, get rid of that. Alright, I think I can I think we can do something here. I'm gonna keep you in defense for now. We're gonna summon uh, the Marauding Captain. Uh, I'm gonna activate the effect of the Marauding Captain to normal summon out or special summon out. Uh Warrior, uh what's his name? Field Commander something. Him, yeah. His effect will go off. I can now add uh, I can add Amazon Sage to the top of my deck. Yep, good, good. And then we can go to battle. We can swing for a little bit here. Negate attack. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, you win for now, Seto. Uh, no, I do not want to activate little, little wings effect, please. Little wing guard. Uh, another, another set. What's to say that's going to be a mirror force now? 
Um, okay, so Sage. Alright, we're going to go summon our Sage. I don't want to equip the Lightning Blade just yet, in case this is a bad back row. And we'll hold it for now. Is this a bad back row? It's not. We can now get rid of it as well. Pop. Oh, it was... It surprised he didn't activate it. Is it monsters on his side? Each monster... No, you... Yeah, he would have... He would have got uh, 1,500 life points, though. I'm surprised he didn't activate it. I, I have to say, in, a, in every Yu-Gi-Oh game I've ever played, the, the AI are really dumb. They are really, really dumb. Uh, unless this is a monster, I think I've just won. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've just won this. But we'll uh, we'll play by uh, shift. That's useful, isn't it? We're gonna go ahead and activate Lightning Blade and equip it to our Amazon Sage. We're gonna set our thing. Oh, and also I have to I have to point out that I'm pretty certain for the majority of this Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, Shadow Spell. Ah, I got I got I got very cocky there. I have to point out for the rest of this that I won't be using these two spaces. Because this was not Yu-Gi-Oh! era. So when I eventually am able to fusion summon, uh, I will not be I will not be using them. Yet. Yeah. That is a problem. Oh, and I've just won. Phew! Okay. Dodged a bullet with that one. See, the problem I have is if I have my whole field set up, I can't tribute summon over it, so I have to pop them. And without further ado, that is the end of game number two. Because I, I left Yu-Gi-Oh for a very long time and I came back, I was kind of curious when the sixth space came. Because I know it wasn't there for the Synchro era, but it could have been there for... Because in my head, it went... It went Tribute... Uh, which is... Gen oh, sorry, so for the specific card. It was Ritual Fusion, or it could have been the either way around. Synchro, Pendulum, XE, and then Link. That's the order, but I don't know when the new slot came up. I'm thinking it came up during Link, but I'm actually not too sure. So, terraforming. So, oh, okay, we're taking on Weevil Underwood. The little bugger who threw Exodia into the ocean. And now we're going to beat him up with his own bugs. Alright, so... I'm actually going to set one and hopefully hope that he bait, bait out for an attack. I can... There's no point in me setting all of those yet. The reason why I've got Gaia, or rather a big high attack monster, is... Oh, it's Manny a bug! Of course it is! And there goes my monster, and another one. An arm, armored cannon, and four! This is a hefty attack! Shame if I were to uh, negate said attack, wouldn't it? Massive shame. Yeah. Uh, wow, Marauder and Captain. Just who I didn't want to see. Alright, we'll go Marauder and Captain. Yeah, I can't use his effect, obviously, yet. Doesn't matter too much, because we're just going to use Harpy's Feather Duster and wipe those off the planet. And I never thought I'd be doing this. I'm equipping <laughs> Marauder and Captain. With my, uh, <laughs> with my sword. Uh, making him 2k. Now, I am going to swing into the man a bug, because I don't, I really hate that monster, so get rid of him. To be fair, other than that, that is really Weevil's only top tier monster. The rest of them are pretty mediocre. I'm not going to activate Metal Reflex Slime, so I'm going to hold down the button and hopefully it doesn't come up again. Uh oh. Oh! What bug is a one tribute? I don't even think I know that. Right, threatening roar is not. Would you shut up? I don't want to activate it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna set this. No. And now because of this, I can do this without tributing, so it doesn't class as a tribute. It just classes as a normal summon. At least I hope it does, because well, the trophy never pinged, so I'm assuming it does. Right, so I'm assuming this has got to be something big. Oh, it was. Okay, Marauder and Captain would have killed it then. Alright. I forgot he had that giant beetle. That came out in a recent pack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Hercules beetle. If they had reprinted it. Oh, I got pretty lucky here. Well, Manny a bug is not a great top deck. Swords of Revealing Light. Um, Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to activate this now. Sick to death of it pinging every five seconds. Alright, so... 
What's the probability you picked up the cocoon? You didn't. Okay. And Gaia, the fierce knight. Seems pretty fitting I do have a Gaia, Gaia the fierce knight for the duel against Weevil. I don't even remember who won the round for Weevil. Was it... Yes, I'm going to activate Threatening Roar. See, this is why I think games like this really had a bad AI. I had an old Game Boy Advance game of this. Oh, not Game Boy Advance. Game Boy... Was it Game Boy? Oh, no, it was a Nintendo. It was Nintendo... Um, what are they called? DS. I had one of them for this game. It was of the GX era. And the prompting in that game is better than it was in this one. There we go. And that is the end of Weevil Underwood. Time to throw him into the ocean, because we hoped that I've done it again. That that character would never be seen again. However, he get, comes back again, which is annoying. So that's the end of Weevil. We now move on to... Is it Mai? I want to say her name's Mai. But I don't remember if that was the fairy lady. Now, again, I, have to, I do point out that the reason why we have two decks and not just one is because in case something happens, like we go up against um, someone who completely counters warriors. Because at the very least, I, I did I wanted to have two or three decks I could swap between. Uh, because it would just make my life a little bit easier. I'm tr going to try and keep, see how long I can go with warriors. But I did want to do an Umi versus Umi with Mako. Uh, wow, this is uh, this is interesting. Okay, let's uh, let's try, shall we? I'm going to normal summon Marauding Captain. Marauding Captain's effect will go off, which will allow me to summon your your other man, Celtic Guardian of the Noble Arms. I never heard of this card before, but apparently it was released to help out the Celtic Guardian. I have got a Celtic Guardian in my deck, and with testing on this deck, uh, I actually never seen a Celtic Guardian with this guy on the field. I think he's just there as a more of like it's like your goblin attack force. I'm not doing anything yet because unless they summon up a monster that can. Retro. Oh no, this is not good. Stop. Mountain. Okay, not the worst. Bringing up. Ooh, hello. Okay. Stop, please. Stop. Okay, this is getting to be problematic now. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to activate this now. Whoa, okay. 1,250. That's a problem. Bugger. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate Swords Revealing Light. Hmm, I don't think this thing can attack. Cannot attack while you have any monsters, any cards in your hand. Oh, that's a shame. Um, Monster Reborn would be nice, uh, but I can't summon out Tricky unless I get rid of it. Um, I can't even crash either, which is the, the depressing part. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to hope. Look, I've got two turns ahead of me. I'm going to have to hope that I, uh, I actually get a card here. And my doesn't top deck. What the heck was that made of? Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, I gotta hope that my in the next two turns doesn't top deck. Um, Feather Duster. Well, that's that's also not great. Um, but at the very least, I can get him out, which is kind of what I need. Um, yeah, so let's... Special, special, spe well, special tricky. Yeah, Tricky's out now. Uh, gonna set this card. Now, battle. I can actually clear up a few of these things here, so we'll get rid of you. Or not. Oh, okay. There goes my monster. Cheers, mate. I thought he said tribute two. No, just tribute one, yeah, and then target two things on the field. Okay. Um. Yeah, you, you've got to go. At the very least, I can try and get rid of some cards here. What does that do? Okay, that adds back a... That, add, that, add, that adds... What? That adds three Harpy Ladies to your hand? What? 
Why? Why? More, more to the point, why can it do that? I don't remember my being this dangerous. I put. I should have put Time Wizard in, to be fair. Alright, alright, now that's a problem. You've got a lot going on there. I mean, I can bring him back, but I don't think that's going to help me. That's going to help me a lot, actually. Uh, I'll wait another turn to pull it down. So I could bring out Mirror for... I mean, Swords. Um, yeah, I tell you what. Okay, we're going to go Monster Reborn. Going to bring back our Celtic Guardian. Bring uh, back our Celtic Guardian. Gonna set one. Battle. Tricky will go into your monster. And then this guy will go into that. Awesome. Okay, now she is down to one monster. And it's the one I can't beat because it's 50 more attack. I did try and find a field spell that would benefit warriors. I know I know Sorjin, because it's all usually earth monsters. But I couldn't actually find it. I couldn't actually get the card. Negate attack. Not not the best, but it will buy me a turn in case she tries to dust tornado me. Um we will swing into this. Oh, okay. And pass. Alright, so now you know it's a mirror force, will you attack? Hey, what's that do? Okay. Oh! That's, uh, hmm. Wow! Okay! That's a big problem. That hunting ground is not once per turn, eh? That's a shame. Well, it's also a big shame that now I can do this and actually pop that. Nice card there, because you know, now that my monster's high enough, I can actually do this. Wait, where? Uh, wait, what? What's this thing? This card cannot attack. Once per turn, you can special summon one Celtic Guardian monster from your hand. When this card inflicts battle damage, you can draw cards equal to the number of Celtic Guardian monsters you control. Sure. Oh, pfft. oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, he's classed as a Celtic Guardian monster, isn't he? Yeah. Main phase two. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this in hand for now. That was a very nice top deck, but again, I did have a lot of turns to do stuff. How many field spells do you have? <laughs> oh wait, or did she bounce the field spell back? I actually don't remember. There you are. I was wondering where you were. Uh, either way, I f mm. Oh, you can't cancel it. I'm so used to the old old games and Master Duel when you do something, you can actually cancel it. Alright, let's try... Oh, I can actually. That's pretty nice. Sage, let's bounce and pop your stupid mountain. Oh, I can't attack. <laughs> God damn it. I forgot. I forgot the rule of that card instantly. I can't actually attack. Uh, of course it's a monster. Of course you had another monster in your hand. Uh, Alright. Well, let's just boost up everybody's attack. I think this is the only card in the game I have two copies of. Because I actually started to run out of warriors. That was somewhat useful. And, and yes, and it was because I couldn't find the field spell. Uh, I ended up just saying I can have two of these. I nearly forgot about that effect. So what was that? i done it again. I tried to attack. Is that the one with face down monsters? Yes, if I set a monster. All right, we're actually uh, uh we've managed to recover. Okay, that's a face down. Now didn't did my play uh, mirror force? That's the ultimate question. Hello. Well, let's set this. Activate this. Equip it to our Celtic guardian for 3300. Uh, Amazon, Am 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 oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call a sage. We'll pop your face down. I don't know what that is, but 16. Oh, if I had put her in attack mode, I would have won. Uh, yeah, we'll activate his effect again. Sure. Uh, kunai with chain. <laughs> oh, I got kunai with chain. Fair play. 
Okay, set a monster. Okay, let's see now, shall we? Uh, yes. I actually forgot to take that card out, so that's pretty good. All right, let's get let's get our Celtic Guardian beast beast up a little bit, and go two two into that, and there we go. That is game. And I keep forgetting I can't attack. <laughs> and for game, beauty. And we get a bunch of cards. And I did it again. This is not going well. I keep forgetting not to do that. Right. We might even get two more duels done. But let's duel against our lovely guy here. And we're going to bring out Umi just for the one duel. I want an Umi versus an Umi. And then we'll go back to Warrior against Rex Raptor. This is actually going pretty quickly. I was expecting this to go a little bit longer. This might actually just be parts rather than... <laughs> Rather than a uh, single year duels. Ah. Oh, yay! Look at the fish. I play this because I actually play real, real life uh, Umi control. But, uh, it, it, but in real life, I have more copies of. No. What can I even activate? Oh, it's this thing, isn't it? Yeah. I activate a legendary ocean. Yes, this benefits his monsters, I know. But. Wait, what? What? All water monsters gain 200 attack. That's a... Oh, it's a wind! Oh, okay. That confused me then. I'm, I, was, I was very confused why he wasn't gaining an attack boost. Because he's a wind monster. Now I'm going to go Mother Grizzly. I know he has cards that can be over Mother Grizzly. I forgot to set it. I forgot to set it. But I'm going to hopefully that he swings into it so I can activate Mother Grizzly's effect. And yes, he can. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a problem. He had Kairu Shin in hand. Huh. Whoops. Um. Uh, to be fair, I need, I need to target two cards on the field. Yeah, I think, I think this is probably the play. Or I could just go have the 2k defense. Well, I actually haven't. I actually haven't got any way of killing that thing, so I'm gonna summon out this thing. Oh, speaking of which, I just drew a tricky. Okay, so if I I can activate his effect, can't I? Because presumably I can pop him and myself. Up to two. Okay, that's that's good to know. It's up to two. It's not just two. Now we can activate Umi again. <laughs> um, this time we're gonna go ahead and summon High Tide Gujin. I'm not going to attempt to do that. That was my mistake. That will give us an 1850 battle swing and swing. See, part of me doesn't remember... I don't remember this card. Cardorus. Coderus. Uh-oh. Well, it doesn't matter. He's dead. It doesn't matter. He's gone. <laughs> I don't think that matters too much. He just he just left the building. Oh, no. I just sent Umi to the graveyard. No. I just got Terra King Salmon. Um, you know, I could, I could draw Monster Reborn. You never know. So we'll go. We'll go the tricky. Uh, then Island Turtle will come out. I actually play Island Turtle and Terra King Salmon in my current Umi soft lock, because uh, Fish Sonar is a thing, and Fish Sonar demolishes. All right. Um, one more turn. Let's see if he can muster something up here. Uh, no, he cannot. Unfortunate. Well, we'll actually swing for game here, Mako. I'm sorry, my man. Um, I don't know if I cheated you or not, because I actually don't know if that card is actually from this era. As I said, I did. I got it in a box, so I just assumed. I actually, I think I got it from you, so I'm assuming it's from your era. 
All right, well, uh, we'll go back to Warrior for this. Uh, this is going a lot quicker. Oh, another card I use. Yeah. I use that card in a, a deck that I'm not going to mention because it's a very, very, very annoying deck. But we won't talk about that one. Uh, we will go first. Rex Raptor. Okay. Not the worst. Um, I can't actually do the play I want to do here. I'm going to go Graceful Charity. Not, mm, not terrible, but not great. I'm going to send the Warrior Returning alive. And... Hmm. I'm going to send Marauder in Captain. Can Rex Raptor get a monster that's higher than 1700 turn 1? Only time will tell. I think he does have some monsters that are higher than 1700, but whether or not he draws it first turn. Well, that's a big monster, but that's not high enough. Okay, no he can't, but does he have a field spell? He doesn't have a field spell, that's pretty nice. Now, I don't actually get the effect off of this thing, because it had to have been flipped by me. Which doesn't really matter, because I wouldn't really want the card anyway. Um, I actually can't tribute that fish. I could go this into... Yeah, I think, I think we're going to have to try. And hope he doesn't have anything set that can damage me. Okay, so that's 2400. Uh-huh. To be honest, it's probably worth me losing you. Threatening Roar has been declared. Okay, that is unfortunate. Fine. Pass. Huh. The reason why I kept that card in, because it is 1700 defense, and it could come in handy. It's basically a creature swap, and I didn't own creature swap at the time, so. Tribute summoning for that bigger, yeah, bigger rhinoceros, or bigger... Megazona. I will activate Jar of Greed. Oh, okay. I could actually really screw him over here. Yeah. We'll go shift. Switch attack of the monster. Switch target. Wait, what? Wait, what, 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 what's going on here? Why can't I... Oh. What? What? Ah, oh, I just got double played. No way. I just got double played. That is... That is... Ah, oh, that is brilliant. I just got double played. I just got triple played. You're really getting on my nerves now, guy. Luckily for me, this is enough. Trap card every deck. Get out of here. You're not a dinosaur deck. You're a trap card deck. Ah, oh, I just got played twice. Yeah, you flipping trap card. You Rex Raptor, you smug little fire. Oh, hello. That's a nice one. I'll have that. Because I'm not mistaken, if he attacks into that, the battle damage is done to him. I actually don't know what monsters you have. Oh, yeah. Bad ones. <laughs> Attack. See, I remember the Am Amazonesses. They were... I thought they were GX, but a few of them are actually quite old, so... It's just I don't remember from the anime. I don't remember seeing these cards from the anime. Uh, okay, and the only other non... non um, this is the only other non-warrior uh, monster. And my defense to this is read his name. A giant warrior made of stone. Giant warrior. He's a warrior. The tricky is using a hypnosis spell to make you think he's not a warrior. See? He's a very clever and conniving spellcaster. At least I think he's a spellcaster. I can't actually remember. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, that's a badass. That's a problem. 
Oh no, this is a problem. This is a big, big problem. Oh, for snossages. Okay. This is a problem. He's got red eyes, black dragon, his big beak stick. Well, he's going to lose 900 for that. He's going to set one. Oh, I need something big here. That's not big or helpful. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No! This is a problem. Uh, he's not very helpful either. Um, hmm. Uh, how do I do this? Um, giant Soldier of Stone won't be able to take an attack. I, got, I really got to get rid of one of his monsters. Because he could try and battle over everything. So I'm going to try and get rid of the... Uh, this little guy. Oh my lord! Stop! You stupid trap cards! Rex Raptor! You just use nothing but trap cards! Oh, now he's even stronger. Oh, and he's got another one! Wait, Reptile? Well, oh, good old giant soldier of stone. You can't actually get past that. Um. Oh, great! Another worthless warrior that I can't use in any way. Um, and he's 2200. Oh, he is! Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Um, oh, flobba dob a dob. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and summon this guy out. I don't want to use his effect though. Yeah, mm, fine. We'll just bring we'll bring him to the top of the deck. All right, battle. Swing for 200. Right, he's going to clear the board here. All right. There goes my uh there goes my monster. Now I draw Wing Knight, which is uh worthless to me. Um Wait, you can special summon this card. Wait, your opponent's special summon. Okay, whatever. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this guy. Oh, this is a problem. This is a big problem from Rex Raptor. All right, there goes another monster. I am now running out of monsters. Uh. Destroy all opponent face up. Wait, what? Destroy all monsters on the field except face up attack. No, it's it's not that. No, this is a problem. I just need an equip card. I need an equip card or a trap card. Wait, do I, have I not, not used any of the trap cards? Hang on, can we pause? Can we pause the game state? Or not? That's a problem. Crawling Dragon Two has come out. Well, that's useful. Not. Uh. I mean, we'll activate it. Make him scared. <laughs> Make him scared. Ah, oh, no! I have the best top deck in the world! Wait, he's got another. He's got another red eyes? Oh, cop. Wait, did he? He just won. He just. Wait. Oh, he can't attack! He can't attack the turn he summoned it! Yes! Alright. We're going out swinging. In comes Fiend of the Mecha Cyber. Set one. Pass. Activate Mirror Force! You got greedy, Rex! You got greedy, boy! The pff, what's that gonna do? That would have been useful a, a turn ago. Alright. Fiend of the Mecha Cyber, attack! 
All right. I bought myself a hell of a lot of turns. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. Not using it. Stop. <gasps> oh, my. Oh. And Rex. <laughs> yeah. You are definitely a dinosaur guy and not a trap card deck. Whoa. That was a hard fight. That was a hard one, actually. Was not expecting that sort of uh, that turnout. All right, so we will end with our fight against Bakura, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, but my, what a fight that was. That was an epic fight. Drawing into the Mirror Force was very handy. I, I didn't even realize Soul Exchange, it skips the battle phase. I completely forgot about that. And I was like, oh, I've lost. But no, yeah, that's the reason why. To be honest, he, he actually would have cleared the board, but he wouldn't have actually had... Um, Okay, a slightly better hand than what we had last time. Graceful Charity. Good start. Wow, okay, a lot, a lot of face down cards. Coffin Cellar, okay. We're gonna go ahead and set Commander Knight, and then we're just gonna pass. Okay, 1,300. He's going to swing, which is a very bad idea. He'll lose 600. going to set another one. Um... So I'll gain the uh, additional 900 from that. Now we're going to go battle phase. We're going to swing. Kill him. Is that just the Amazus? As yeah, a sword's woman. Couldn't call her a warrior. Sword's woman. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of these are just, like, heavy, heavy beat, uh, ch chunky. F Ooh, hello. That's a nice card to see. Amazon set. Oh, I lost 1,500. Ow, you hurt my feelings. All right, we're going to go ahead and swing into this. Ooh, White Hat Magician. Okay, I'm going to pop your other back row. That was change of heart. Damn. You didn't play change of... Oh, no! I know what that is. That, there goes all of my cards. Oh, yeah. I only lose 300 from it, though. Okay. Not the end of the world. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even think... I don't think he's going to have anything to attack, are you, Bakora? We'll, we'll, we'll pass. Set one, set two, just set two, eh? Well, I will, I am a hundred percent, ah, it's going just as it's again. I was about to say, I am, I, I am going to clear your back row, but now I voted against it. Why don't we just boost up our monsters even more? And then, let's also equip this to uh, the end of damage step. Yeah, let's equip this to you to make you 3k. I really should have switched the other one to attack mode. Oh no, it's Manny a bug! Why have you got Manny a bug in your deck? What sort of what sort of evil villain puts a Manny a bug in their deck? That's so just stupid. Why do you have Manny? Wait, was Manny a bug in the anime? I think he was actually. I think Manny a bug was actually a card he played. Because wasn't Manny a bug? He ate one of the... He ate one of the... Oh, hello. Now that will come in handy. So if I set this... I set you... Set... Y oh, no. Set you. Normal summon you. Actually do the right thing and switch you to attack mode this time. Battle phase. 2300 into your face down. Well, that was worthless. Swing for 29. Activate his effect anyway. S and swing for game. Wow. GG. Oh, great. Thanks for all the worthless cards in the world. Well, that actually went a lot qu quicker than I thought it would. So we've actually managed to get our way down to uh, panic. So, uh... Either this will be, either this is going to be just be a small video at the beginning, or this will be something else. I may actually 
It's going a lot quicker than I thought it was uh, for a stream. This might be a very short stream. Uh, I might actually just do a lot of parts. But either way, thanks for watching, and this has been a successful run so far. And who knows, I may actually challenge uh, Mako to a rematch, because I may have been cheating. I actually don't know. But we'll find out. GG, thanks for watching.